Hi, my name is Kirsten Jones and I'm going to do a quick demo for you. I'm going to show you guys the stack cooker today and the quick chef and some other fun things. We're going to make a chicken recipe. Um, first, we're going to use the stack cooker and as you can see, I just put in fro uh, four boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins in here and they're totally frozen. They're in the colander and then I've got them in the smaller base. I'm going to leave the larger base right here. We don't need that for this recipe. And then we're going to take the lid and put it on here. And I'm going to go ahead and put these in the microwave and get them cooking for the first part of our recipe. All right, so we just pulled these out of the microwave. Ooh, as you can see, they're very hot. Uh, they are fully cooked. Uh, every microwave is a little bit different, but I have found the boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins in my microwave take about a minute a piece. So I cooked these for four minutes and they came out just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. They're fully cooked. One of the things that I always do is cut them in the middle just to make sure there's no pink meat. And as you can see, these are great, uh, perfectly cooked. So I'm gonna take these, go ahead and take these out. Move this off to the side. And now we're gonna use the Quick Chef. Uh, you know, people think about this Quick Chef, uh, and it's pretty awesome. They think about this Quick Chef for making salsa. And although it does make probably the best salsa ever, um, I and I use it all the time to make salsa, people don't think about doing fun things like shredding chicken. So we're gonna make a chicken, um, kind of a, it's not chicken salad, it's a chicken and dill recipe that is just to die for. And I go ahead and cut the chicken in half and put it in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and chop the chicken. So I'm gonna put the lid on, take the quick chop. And as you can see, the chicken is all shredded and ready to go. This is perfect for if um, so you're gonna make chicken tortilla soup or if you're gonna make um, chicken quesadillas or anything like that. Shredding chicken is wonderful. Chicken salad, anything that you wanna shred chicken for really. Um, but today we're obviously gonna do something different. I'm gonna go ahead and get some mayonnaise out. I've got our silicone spatula. If you don't have that, you are missing out. It's amazing. This is a recipe I tend to kind of eyeball, so I'm gonna try to measure it for your sake. Um, this is a half a cup, oh, two thirds of a cup is what I've got here. And I think that's probably about how much mayonnaise I'll put in here. We'll see. It's not, I've got it two thirds of a cup. It's not totally full, but that's probably about enough. So almost two thirds of a cup of mayo. So some of the features I wanna show you about the, the Quick Chef that I'm not using today is it comes with a whipper blade and this whipper blade when you put it in here will whip um, cream faster than a KitchenAid. Um, you can whip pudding, you can make sauces, you can do all kinds of stuff and it also comes with a salad spinner, uh, sort of a baby salad spinner tool and you can you can, let's say you had a little bit of lettuce or a little bit of cilantro or some berries or something like that. You could put the salad spinner in there and you just saw what I added. I just took and I did about three, oh, it's perfect, three tablespoons of dill, dry dill seasoning. It's by the jar, but if you um, live near an area that has a bulk section, and I don't mean bulk by Costco, I mean like Fred Meyers is what is near me and they have a bulk section over in the natural department and you can buy bulk spices for just pennies. I know Central Market has it, Whole Foods has it, um, some other grocery stores have it. This is what it looks like when it's done. And all you do is toast bread and spread this on there and it is to die for. It's so good. Um, it's good cold and it's good hot. So you can kind of choose. You can refrigerate it, make cold, toast the bread and make cold sandwiches or you can do it hot. Um, but some of the other features I want to show you about the Quick Chef. So obviously I can chop things like this. I can chop salsa, I can make avocado, or I can use avocados to make guacamole. I can do um, fruit salsa, which is really good. I have a recipe that has um, Granny Smith apples, strawberries, kiwi, and a little bit of apple jelly, and it's just to die for. You can spread it on waffles, on pancakes, on ice cream. Um, you can make cinnamon sugar chips and eat it. It's just so good. Um, the bottom of this has a non-skid grid, so when you put it on the counter and you go to chop like this, it doesn't fly around. Notice where I'm holding with my hand is actually designed, it's so funny, Tupperware thinks of everything. It's actually designed right how my hand holds it. So see how my hand goes right there? That's exactly where my hand holds it to chop. 
It also has this cool little feature, looks like this, pops right in here, has measurements in it, and you pop it in here, and it doesn't go into the container until you turn it. So if you're gonna make hummus and it said to drizzle the olive oil in while you were chopping, you could have the olive oil in here and measured and ready to go, and you chop, 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 and then you're ready to put the olive oil in, you turn it, and then the, then the olive oil starts drizzling. The Quick Chef, another awesome feature about it is um, that it chops to the right and it stirs to the left because there's some recipes that you chop up and then you at the very end you stir in ingredients, so you would go to the left with that to stir in the ingredients. Um, and then, um, let's see, what else is exciting about this? There's so many fun things. Um, one of my other favorite features, oh I know, is I had, before Tupperware came out with the Quick Chef, I had bought um, one at the fair that was sort of the, um, well, let's just say it wasn't as good. Um, see how this, this handle arcs up and it doesn't catch my hand? The one that I had bought at the fair went straight across and took off a layer of skin as it went by. Um, see this handle, see how I can hold it like this and the knob, this turns and this turns. The knob on my fair one didn't do that, so as I was trying to turn, I would have to go like this. So it's, you know, just little tiny things like this that people don't think about until you're going to chop and they don't work so well. There's all these awesome features. This is one of the my favorite things that Tupperware has, and definitely everybody should have one in their kitchen. So this is the Quick Chef, and I think it belongs in every kitchen. If you don't own one, you can go to www.buythebowl.com and order yours. And if you're looking for gifts, this will make a fantastic present as well. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful day.